Viewers, welcome again to another edition of the Coach's Desk with host Coach Minzy. And uh, definitely we're uh, appreciating the support that we have been getting over here on the Coach's Desk. Big up to all the viewers, all the subscribers. And uh, we just want to delve into a topic right now, which is a critical um, topic that we want to touch on. Um, it, it, it is a central midfield role for the reggae boys. Yeah, people, because... Um, it has been a, a struggle. It has been a, a, a tough ask to get a, a really a, a ball handler, a, a, a person who can distribute the ball, person who can break up play and all of that. And um, I believe that that is what is missing in the middle of the park where the reggae boys is concerned. Now, we were on a live um, some time ago and um, to be exact, Friday night. And um, there was a guest that were, was on our panel. Um, that's Mr. Blake. Yeah, man, the cataract zone. Big up yourself, um, um, Oheen Blake. Yeah, man. Um, we, we, we were having a discussion about um, the UK-based players. How will they adjust to CONCACAF? And it was a wholesome um, conversation. It was a robust discussion. Um, uh, many other persons were on the panel. And uh, it was just awesome. And um, this midfield, well, a, a plethora of other midfielders came up. Um, Corey Smith, um, Joshua Laurent, Kevin Stewart, and, 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 and these players. Um, also one from M MLS, Joey Dessert. But, but it, as the discussion uh, went on, we, we, we pulled up some statistics on these players. Um, uh, incidentally, Isaac Aiden would have been the ideal central defensive midfielder for us. But, I mean, everybody knows that Isaac is injured at this moment. And uh, we, we are hoping that he will have a speedy recovery. Um, see, Newcastle is actually fighting to save uh, relegation. And they are doing uh, pretty well at this time. So, in terms of Isaac... He's the ideal, but at this moment, we have to look on because he's hurt. We, they, they are persons like a Lewis Baker, like a Kevin Stewart, and, and so forth. But one player that um, came to, 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 to the discussion was uh, Anthony Grant. Yes, people, Anthony Grant came to the discussion. Um, he was spoken about. Um, it, uh, let me hasten to tell you people that um, he is... He, 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 he's, he's, in footballing um, term, he's old. He's 33 years old. But uh, we were brought back to the likes of uh, 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 Peter Cargill, who was in the um, same age group at the time when, 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 when the reggae boys actually qualified for the World Cup. So, in, in, in all fairness, the discussion led to us saying that, I mean, this player would have uh, warranted a look-in because after making comparison with all the other players, definitely he seemed to be one of the players that would ideally fit the reggae boys. You understand? And we're just going to look on how this player is um, in terms of his attack, his, his creativity, his technical ability, his defensive section of it, and his tactical awareness. You know, understand? So, um, we're just going to delve into that, people, and uh, show you how important of a player this player could be for the reggae boys. He's actually a Jamaican, so he's eligible. Um, you know, process we would have to do to get him. Um, probably take a long while or a short while. But, I mean, he, he warrants a look-in based on the stats that I've seen on him this season. So, um... We'll be right back, people, to give you an update on Anthony Grant. And I have flavor, make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that. Welcome back, people. All right, so like I said before, we'll be um, taking a look at the player Anthony Grant. Yeah, people, very, very, very um, decent um, player. I mean, I think that he will add 
something that is missing in the middle of the park where reggae boys is concerned um in terms of contacts um <laughs> uh, i'm not certain that he, he has been contacted but i mean let's see so so people he currently plays for swindon town that, that plays in the league two right um for information, he is a product of the Chelsea's um, youth academy, which which many taught them to be one of the best um, academy in in England. There, so his roots would have been um, rooted there in the Chelsea's academy. He would have played for a plethora of clubs: uh, Oldham Athletic, um, Wickhambe. Wanderers, Luton Town, Southern United, um, Stephen Edge, Crew Alexandra, Port Vale, Peterborough, Shrewsbury Town, and so forth. And uh, just just for also information, people, you would have played for the England's youth team, the under sixteen, under seventeen, and under nineteen teams. So this player um, would have had pedigree in 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 playing internationally but at the youth level now when we survey uh, this player people um his main position is the midfield um but um one of the the the, the, the best position that he, he seems to play is the defensive midfield and not only that in in terms of being a defensive midfielder he scores um, a lot of goals as well so that is a good look for a very tough tough tackling um, defensive midfielder. Um, the stats that we're going to be looking at is actually for this season, people. All right. Now, his strengths would be his positioning. He knows how to position. That simply means his, his, his understanding of the game is, is quite there. His football in IQ is, is up to par. And he's a very good tackler. So he's grown duels. He's very good at that. He, he tends to win the ball a lot. He tends to break up play, which is very important, which is what we want to do. And many persons will complain about Michael Hector and say that this is what he's not doing. You understand? And if, if we can get a player like this who can do all of these things, then as some persons will say, we would have bingo. When you look at his, his, his weaknesses, um, people, there's not a lot of... Uh, weaknesses a matter of fact there's no outstanding weaknesses in this player you understand so he would be a very good addition to the reggae boys um to hold on the position that we are actually playing i am not sidestepping our locals because you have a, a joshon anglin which i believe is a very good talent i i think that he can be a part of the setup going forward you have a kevin lambert definitely these two um all in midfielders are good as well and um, I do believe that they should be a part of the squad and you never know one of them could break through as well and let's continue on on Anthony Grand people um, in terms of, of of his attacking you would have had like a, a 45% technical ability 46 tactical 51 uh, defensive 51 and creativeness, um, 43%. So, you would have played a, a number of games this season, several games, 26, 28 to be exact, started 26. Um, you would have completed like about, in, on average, 83 minutes per game. When you look at his, his attacking um, prowess, you would have scored three goals, um, scoring frequency, 770 minutes per game. Um, so that would be equal to 0.1 goal per game. Um, shots per game, 0.8. Shots on target, 0.2. Big chances missed, only one. When you look at his passing accuracy, and, and, and this is very important also for a midfield person, not only to break up the play, but um, he should be able to make the long passes um, down the middle, over the top or diagonally. You understand? He should be able to make one, two plays in the middle of the park uh, as well with other midfielders. So, all in all, these are important aspects of the game 
that 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 this player I believe have, and uh, the person that we are seeking uh, defensive midfielder should possess. Um, no assist um, so far this season. Touches fifty two point nine. Big chances created none. Key passes point two. Um, accurate per game. So he he has like an eighty two percent um passing accuracy. He has a um. 89% accuracy in his own half. In the opposition half, 73%. Um, long ball accuracy, 65. Chip passes, 45. Um, so when you look at this, this player um, passing ability, it is pretty efficient. Um, definitely, he, 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 he's, a, he's, a, he's a very good pass of the ball, um, in my estimation, on, on, on these statistics that we have here. Interception per game 1.3, tackles per game 1.5, possession 1.3, dribble pass per game 0.6. So it's that that doesn't happen very often. Um, clearances per game 1.7 and so forth. So definitely, people, when you look at this player, he's a very good player. Very good player. When you look at um, successful dribbles at 63%, total um, duels won at 61%. Um, those tough um, tackles that are on the ground, 64%. Um, in terms of his, his aerial duels, he would have had a 54%. Um, possession lost, 9.1. Falls, 1.1. Was fall 2.4. I mean, he's a very disciplined player also because playing 28 games, you would have only gotten like three yellow cards to date. So people, when you, when you think about the statistics of this player, uh, um, he, he, he's a very useful player and it is, it is someone that um, Coach Whitmore and the JFF could take into consideration. Just to, uh, We know age is, is, is against him, people. I know that age is against him, but he is one who fits the bill, you understand? And when you look at his work rate in the middle of the park, people, he, he does a lot of work. He covers a whole lot of uh, ground. If you look at his, 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 his mileage, steps per game, they are way up there because he does a whole lot of work. He touches the ball a lot in the middle of the park. Um, so, so, so definitely, people, we could, we could take this player into consideration. I'm not saying that we should throw away what we have to um, allow him to play. But as long as he's a Jamaican, he should be considered. You understand? So, thanks again. What are your thoughts on this player, Anthony Grant? What say you people? Let me hear the comments down below in the comment section. And thanks again for tuning in to the Coach's Desk. Uh, of course... Your presence is always appreciated. Your comments are also appreciated. I live for the comments, people. Thanks again. Thanks for tuning into the show. Uh, definitely, we'll see you again at another time in another video. Peace. I'm out.